Well, exit polls have opened the doors to many political speculations and discourse. Take a look as to how the ABP Nielsen exit polls predicts the fate of some political heavyweights. Many political heavyweights are battling it out this poll season from various political parties. Exit polls have predicted a thumping victory for the BJP in this polls. Meanwhile, ABP Nielsen conducted exit polls from the constituencies of political bigwigs and this is what their predictions were. Narendra Modi, BJP. Varanasi. Varanasi is certainly the hotbed of electoral politics this Lok Sabha polls. With two political heavyweights, BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi and AAP Chief Arvind K. Jival in the fray, the land of temples is arguably the most keenly watched and controversial constituency. The two big wigs are pitted against local face Ajay Rai. While all the three politicos have showed off their strength with massive rallies, the composition of voters in the constituency makes the fight all the more interesting. Just as expected, the ABP Nielsen exit polls hint at the Varanasi battle being fought between the BJP and the AAP. And the BJP's PM candidate Narendra Modi, who is also contesting polls from Vadodara and Gujarat, is expected to sail through the AAP challenge. Rahul Gandhi, Congress, Amethi. Amethi, a fortress of the Nehru Gandhi family, is yet another keenly watched battle this election season. AICC Vice President and incumbent MP from the constituency, Rahul Gandhi, is challenged by BJP's soap opera actor turned politician. Smriti Rani and AAP's poet turned politician Kumar Vishwas. The BJP is hoping to sail through with Smriti Rani's popularity and AAP with its work at the grassroots level. While the two parties are leaving no stone unturned to dent Rahul's prospects in his own backyard, exit polls predict Rahul to get third time lucky from the constituency. Yedurappa, BJP. Shimoga. Shimoga is yet another significant constituency from Karnataka due to the candidature of former Chief Minister Yadurappa. The Lingayat community leader is pitted against Geeta Shivraj Kumar, wife of sandalwood actor Shivraj Kumar and daughter of former Chief Minister Bangarappa. Congress debutant candidate Manjunath Bandari is also in the fray from the constituency. While Geeta Shivraj Kumar is hoping to ride high on her lineage, Yadurappa certainly enjoys the support of the Lingayat community in the constituency. The ABP Nielsen exit polls point at the former Chief Minister's victory, while Geeta Shivraj Kumar comes second, followed by Congress's Manjunath Bandari. Nandan Nilakani, Congress, Bangalore South. Well, this is certainly one of the most keenly followed battles in the state. BJP's war horse and General Secretary Anand Kumar is challenged by former NP CEO Nandan Nilakani. Nilakani, a debutant to electoral politics, has been invested with the responsibility of dethroning Anand Kumar in his own backyard. But in what comes as bitter result for the Congress, the UIDAI chairman is expected to lose to the five-time MP from the constituency, according to ABP Nielsen exit polls. Arun Jaitley, BJP, Amritsar. One of the prominent faces in the BJP and a forerunner for the deputy PM's post, Arun Jaitley, is contesting the Lok Sabha polls from Amritsar. He is pitted against former Punjab Chief Minister, Captain Amrinder Singh. The two political heavyweights have locked horns time and again this poll season and a stern battle is certainly on the cards. ABP Nielsen exit polls conclude the same. The battle at Amritsar Lok Sabha constituency will be closely fought with Captain Amrinder Singh threatening Arun Jaitley's electoral prospects. Rajanath Singh, BJP, Lucknow. BJP President Rajnath Singh is contesting the Lok Sabha polls from Lucknow. The Saffron Party Big Wig is pitted against Congress's Rita Bahuguna Joshi and AAP's comedian-turned-politician Javed Jafri.
ABP Nielsen's exit polls predict a victory for the top man of the BJP. Rita Bahuguna Joshi and Javed Jafri are expected to finish second and third, respectively. Sushma Swaraj, BJP. Vadisha. Sushma Swaraj, one of the prominent faces of the BJP, is predicted to win from the Vadisha constituency. Nitin Gadkari, BJP. Nagpur. The former BJP president who is eyeing a comeback to the party's top post following the IT department's clean shit to him is expected to win from the city of Oranges. Kapil Sibyl, Congress. Shani Chowk. Shani Chowk, one of Delhi's most prestigious constituencies, had a three-way battle between Union Law Minister Kapil Sibyl, former opposition leader in the Delhi Assembly, Dr. Hashvardhan, and AAP's journalist-turned-politician, Ashutosh. What has come as a surprise is that the fight in the constituency, according to ABP Nielsen, is between Dr. Harshvardhan and Ashutosh. The union law minister seems to be alienated in his own constituency. Ajay Markan, Congress, New Delhi. Another hyped constituency, New Delhi too had a fierce three-way competition between Congress's Ajay Markan, BJP spokesperson Meenakshi Lekhi, and AAP's Ashish Ketan. Nielsen predicts that the fight here is between the BJP and the AAP. Yet again, the Congress candidate is expected to finish third in the race. General VK Singh, BJP, Ghaziabad. Former Army topman General Vijay Kumar Singh is making his electoral debut with his contention from the Ghaziabad Lok Sabha seat. The BJP's candidate is pitted against two popular faces, Congress actor turned politician Raj Babbar and AAP's television journalist turned politician Shazia Ilmi. ABP Nielsen exit polls foresee a win for the former Army General, while Raj Babbar and Shazia Ilmi are predicted to finish second and third respectively. Murli Manohar Joshi, BJP, Kanpur. BJP's war horse Murli Manohar Joshi was pushed to Kanpur to make way for the party's PM candidate Narendra Modi. According to the ABP Nielsen exit polls, the veteran leader will not disappoint the party despite the shift of base. MM Joshi is expected to win from the Kanpur Lok Sabha constituency. Mulayam Singh Yadav, SP. Azamgar. The SP Supreme Mulayam Singh Yadav, a sitting MP from Main Puri constituency, is trying his fortunes from Azamgar as well. This Lok Sabha polls. The prediction of the ABP Nielsen exit polls opine that the former UP Chief Minister will get a run for his money in Azamgar as he is facing some severe competition from his opponents. Rabri Devi, RJD, Saran, former Bihar Chief Minister Rabri Devi faces the threat of defeat from Saran constituency according to the ABP Nielsen exit polls. Ram Vilas Paswan, LJP, Hajipur, LJP Chief Ram Vilas Paswan, who is a seven-time MP from Hajipur, is hoping for an eighth term after his alliance with the BJP. ABP Nielsen exit polls predict a win for Paswan. Sharad Yadav, JDU, Madhepura. Top JDU leader Sharad Yadav, who is a five-time MP from Madhepura constituency, is expected to get a run for his money in his own backyard. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, Congress, Guna. Congress's Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is facing a tough battle from here and is expected to lose the polls to his opponent from the BJP, Jaiban Pavaya. Kamal Nath, Congress, Chindwara. ABP Nielsen predicts the Union Urban Development Minister winning from his bastion. Hema Malani, BJP, Mathura. Actor turned politician Hema Malani is testing her fortunes from Mathura. This Lok Sabha polls. ABP Nielsen exit polls predict a win 
for the actress turned politician. Karthi Chidambaram, Congress. Shivaganga. Karthi Chidambaram, son of Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, is contesting polls from his father's citadel. Hoping to win with the influence of Chidambaram, a seven time MP from this constituency, Karthi certainly has an uphill task. The ABP Nielsen exit polls predict him to lose to the AIADMK candidate from Shivaganga. Priya Dutt, Congress. Priya Dutt, the two time MP, is expected to sail through for the second term. So, these were the predictions of the ABP Nielsen exit polls. While the exit poll analysis shows that the Congress has some reason to worry, with most of its prominent leaders underperforming, BJP's candidates seem to be riding high on the Modi wave. Now all eyes are set on May 16th, when the results of the longest elections in the history of India will be announced and the fate of many politicians will be sealed. A new Snan report.